Let me just give you some specifics on the components of this car here. Das ist der Elektromotor. So we've got the electric, synchronous electric <coughs> machine here. Mit einer Leistung von 85 Kilowatt. Output is 85 kilowatt. Und einem Drehmoment von 270 Newtonmetern. And a torque of 270 Newtonmeters. Die Kraft wird übertragen durch eine feste Übersetzung. Es ist ein Einganggetriebe. And we've got a one speed transmission here, so it's a uh, fixed transmission. Es entfällt also das Umschalten zwischen verschiedenen Gängen und ebenso entfällt die Kupplung. So we won't switch gears and we don't have a clutch. Das Fahrzeug könnte zwar maximal 160 km pro Stunde fahren, aber wir haben es limitiert auf 135. Um, it could go with a maximum speed of 160 km, but we've lim uh, limited it to 135. What would be the range at 160? No, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Would, would you tested. make it to Brighton? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so that we yeah, okay. reach Brighton, uh, London from Brighton. Um, dann haben wir eine Leistungselektronik, die erzeugt die nötige Energie. Mm -hmm. We have the power electronics unit converts the necessary energy. Für den Antrieb, yeah, die ist aus course. dem Touareg Hybrid übernommen und mm -hmm. modifiziert. It was taken over from the Touareg Hybrid and modified to fit in here. Dann haben wir auch vom Touareg Hybrid einen elektrischen Klimakompressor. Mm -hmm. And we, we've got the electric uh, air conditioning compressor down there. It's also from the Touareg. Denn was einen Verbrennungsmotor so ineffizient mm -hmm. macht, ist ja die Abwärme. Er hat mm -hmm. ja einen ganz schlechten Wirkungsgrad und er muss yeah. viel Wärme abgeben. Mm -hmm. Hier ist es anders. Hier muss mm -hmm. ich Wärme also auch nicht nur beim Klimagerät muss ich elektrisch betreiben, aber ich habe auch einen elektrischen Widerstand, der Wärme erzeugt, um den Innenraum aufzuheizen. Ich erzeuge also wirklich nur dann Wärme, wenn ich sie auch brauche. So, which of course is uh, the difference between this engine and the internal combustion engine is that the internal combustion engine has a lot of process heat, uh, which needs to be catered for somehow. Now here, it's of course, it's different. I've got electrical resistance and we can use the heat to um, heat up the interior, the passenger compartment. Does it also it, yeah. does it also heat the battery pack in cold conditions? Yes, we can. Um, if we are connected to the um, to the 230 volts um, network, mm. then we can heat up the battery and the interior too. And the interior too. So it's, it's necessary when it's cold to heat the battery before you start. Yes. Before you start. Amount to the high or to the high Worte. <laughs> ich komme nicht auf die Worte. Yeah. Es tut mir so leid. Um, vielleicht finden wir sie gemeinsam. Die, eine von einer leichten Verzögerung yeah. mm -hmm. zu einer höheren Verzögerung. Es gibt yeah. drei Stufen. Ah, okay. Three steps um, of regeneration. From yeah. regeneration. Turn around, please. Right now. And the next crossing left comes very suddenly. Yes, please. Yeah. And are there, there are more functions? Uh and on the, on the computer? Not at the moment. The board computer I can show you, but it's not... Uh, it's not for the electric driving. Uh. Yes, a little bit shows the consumption we have, but it's very bad today. I don't know who drove before. We had a hard um, accelerating foot. <laughs> I have to change to the left. So is it, is it, uh, is it possible to fast charge? Yes, we can. We can charge up to uh, 50 kilowatt um, power consumption up to. Ah, Mensch, bitte um Entschuldigung. Ja. Heute Morgen ist ja wieder Wurm drin. Mhm. <laughs> wir können bis zu 50 kilowatt laden. At maximum, we can load with 50 kilowatt. 
um, but we think the best choice is to use up to 20 kilowatts then the battery wouldn't, um, wouldn't miss lifetime okay for so you recommend slow charging no not slow when you load with 20 kilowatts you just need one maybe one and a half hour to load the battery and that's fast for me too yeah we have a few uh, capacity of the battery of 26.5 kilowatts and so you need when you load with 20 kilowatts one and a half hour it's filled and you can um, use overnight charging as well and everything is possible okay or if you really need quick charging in half an hour for 80 percent of the battery then you can use 50 kilowatts but mm, you shouldn't do with every charging mm, wouldn't be a good idea we don't know today which effects this will have for the lifetime of a battery yeah we will <coughs> um, make experiences with the cars and the batteries and then we will decide which is the best way to load the car and everything looks like a, it's a normal uh, Volkswagen Golf yes. but uh, are, there, are there real changes made to the car? only in the HMI that you have information you don't have at the com on the conventional Golf um, we just want a car like any other car to drive like any other car and so we we don't make big information displays showing a lot of flashing or so um, people don't like uh, more like but, uh, other uh, OEMs have really great um, <coughs> uh, yeah, a lot of neon flashing lights yeah yeah yes they make a carnival out of it yeah. something like that mm -hmm. yeah and we just like analog instruments and to make it um, as known by the customer today and 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 for the the, the uh, construction of the car is there something different is the 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 I know that the gas tank uh, is gone yes are there more changes is the suspension uh, different this car has a little higher weight as a normal car and so we need a special springs um, but the comfort will be the same the same and we have some changes in the back of the car where normally the spare wheel lays in the, in the car, yeah, um, but the rest is identically. Okay. And it's it's absolute it's a must for us because we just want to produce this car on the normal production line. Yeah, often gering zu halten. Aufwand gering zu halten. Ja. Merk je nou ook wat van het zwaardere, ja, van het, ge het gewicht van de auto? Moet je er wat harder aan gaan trekken, dan uh, zal je wel iets voelen. En qua wegligging en dat soort uh, rijplezier? Ja. Gevoel? Op zich blijft dat aardig hetzelfde, maar je voelt wel dat het behoorlijk zwaar is, zoals een volbeladen auto. Twee man achterin helpt ook niet. Nee, nee. Wow, ik ben op die Try to use the pedals. It's a nice feeling. And you can brake and stop the car without braking with the food. And the best way to bring the energy back. Thank you.